Welcome to Cut Ups Film Review, brought to you by Maze and Blue Review. We cover all of Michigan athletics for the Rivals Network. You can follow us over at michigan.rivals.com. Today we're going to be breaking down the highlights of recent Michigan commit running back Jordan Marshall, top three running back in the nation currently, top 55 player overall in the nation. Huge recruiting win for Michigan on the field and also off the field. Marshall is from Ohio and was the number one running back target on the board for the Ohio State Buckeyes. So this is Michigan getting their top guy at running back, or one of their top guys right there in pursuit of a couple other as well, but getting one of their top targets at running back, winning a recruiting battle against the Buckeyes, right? So winning on the field has transferred to winning off the field, and we're starting to see the tides turn in this Ohio State rivalry. This is a big recruiting win for Michigan. No other way to cut it. So we're going to take a look at some of his best plays from his junior season and keep in mind exactly that these are the best plays, right? So this is going to be swimming in positivity. It's hard to find things to critique when you're seeing all of his best plays, but Hey, you're talking about a really solid all around running back. Who's again on these highlights going to look like the complete package. And it's going to be pretty obvious why he fits into the Michigan offense, which has been so focused on, strong running backs the last few years. So right off the bat here, we're going to see Marshall taking a handoff where his gap is blown up by a defender. The defender kind of over pursues. And I think you're going to get a look at one of my favorite parts of Marshall's game, which is his quickness, his acceleration. He reaches top speed very quickly. He's able to make cuts and maintain that speed as well. He's not a burner. He's not going to guy that's going to post some crazy, you know, four, three, whatever, 40 time. Um, but he's a guy that's football fast. We talk about that all the time. A guy, you know, doesn't really matter what the 40 time is when you get to see the speed on the tape. So let's get it rolling here and we'll go through all these plays. But right off the bat, like I said, defender over pursues. He sees the seam, makes a couple moves, and he's gone. So what I liked again, look how quick. A little too far back there, apologize. Look how quick he goes from there to there, right? So that that zero to five, that 10 yard burst, getting to full speed quickly, just massive. That's how you get extra yards, right? Other way you get extra yards is by running through dudes, right? Breaking a tackle, boom. And again, another tackle, eye on this defender, and off he goes. So th this is a good illustration, I think, of Marshall's vision, right? Being a running back is kind of like playing chess. You got to be thinking about your next move. So as he's looking for the seam, as he's getting by this defender, he's already looking up at this guy, looking up at the other corner coming over, looking back to see his situation before he takes off. So Got to love the vision there, being able to, again, look, what does this move do to the next one? Nice little juke here. And again, eyes up, getting by defenders, finding his way to the corner of the end zone. On this play, just open field. <laughs> Not much to say about that. When he sees the open field, he's gone. And that's what you want, right? A running back that could create for himself, obviously, but also a running back that when the offensive line does the job, he can just take advantage of it. Kind of another example here. So he does break the first tackle here behind the line of scrimmage. Guy goes with the arm there. Can't do that on Marshall. And he's gone. Defenders and, you know, get him caught flat footed. So Marshall, I don't know if it's the number 24 or what, but he does remind me a little bit of Zach Charbonnet. He's got a lot of that lower body leg strength. We're going to see that in a couple plays here too. Good physical runner. Again, not a burner, but quick, right? Has the ability to get up to top speed quick and take advantage of any open seams you can give him. This is just, again, I don't want to compare the dude to Blake Corum, but that's that's a heck of a juke move right there, right? Let's take another look at this here. Patient runner, again, waiting for his moment and then cut. And there he goes. Get another cut. See you later. Another thing he's doing on these cuts is still moving forward, right? He's not losing any forward momentum. Great example of it right here. He takes that push off on the right foot there and then boom, forward stride still going forward. So he's always gaining yards, even when he's trying to get by defenders. And then he can do stuff like this. Talking about that lower body leg strength, eight or nine guys here come along for a ride, <laughs> right? Crazy, crazy strong. Another example of it here, right? So he's wrapped up about the 43, 44, and he's going to end up about the 50 yard line. I'm going to see this one one more time as well. This is the, this is the Hassan Haskins thing, right? The, the big change with Haskins and in quorum a lot last year as well was the lack of negative plays and also turning the short runs one, two, three yards 
into five yards, six yards, however much, right? Putting the offense in a manageable situation, keeping them on schedule on first down runs, giving them second and five, second and four, second and three, keeping that playbook open, right? So he kind of runs into a wall here. You're going to see him make a cut to get out of it, lose this tackle, lose this one, and then just drag three defenders those extra few yards. That's what it's all about. You, you can't undermeasure what that does. So he's not really known as a deep pass catching threat, but again, because of what he can do, when he has the ball and in open space, he is a guy that's going to be able to catch balls out of the backfield here. So nice little one-handed snag. And then again, you give the dude open field and he's going to find the end zone. Back to running the ball here again, vision seam downfield drags guys for a couple extra yards. You just, you're seeing this on every play. This is one of the down the field passes kind of had to stop and come back for it. But again, once he's got the ball full speed, see you later. Another run here, a little bit of patience, seam, gone. I mean, it, it's just over and over again. He, he is so, so impressive. Again, you're, you're talking about the complete package here. Another break tackle, another the outside, and another run where he's getting past defenders, right? So he's, he's not leaving dudes in the dust again, but he's quick. <laughs> Let, let's try and figure out here. So he gets wrapped up, 23, hit again finishes at the eight. I mean, 15 extra yards after contact. A little bit of a stretch play here, cuts back in, lowers his shoulder. It's <laughs> just, I mean, these extra yards here, guys, look, look what we're talking about. Again, stretch, the whole defense is catching up to him. First contact at the 10, shoulder down, ends up at the 22-yard line. Just awesome, awesome stuff here. Works his way through again, another six extra yards or so I've also noticed too. He's got the ball in both hands. He looks super comfortable running in either direction, left corner, right corner. It just seems really calm and patient back here. Oh, that's a nice little move. Look at this little stutter step, how he catches the defender here. Oh, that kind of reminds me of uh, what made that Edwards touchdown play. So good. That little bit of a stutter to get the defender to hold up there. How does he get to the end zone on this one? Again, look, first contact, six yard line. Looks like another passing play here. So nice little screen. Yeah, you're, you're going to win over the coaches with this one, right? Lowers the shoulder about the 42, finds a way to a first down. Always ends up standing up too, right? When the defender comes over and tries to knock you out of bounds, still standing. <laughs> awesome. Just a strong, strong player, right? Here he is again, another screen where he sneaks out. Nice little grab over the shoulder there. Does a good job of keeping his balance too, right? Even when we see here, he trips over a little bit, still running forward, still high knees, still staying balanced, still driving for yards. Nice little seam cut there back to the outside again. Yeah, I don't, again, I don't know. I don't know if it's, uh, I'll have to look into it a little bit more, but my gut reaction here, seeing that number 24, he reminds me a lot of Charbonnet, he really does. So yeah, again, I keep hearing he's not the deep receiving threat, but he's, he's doing pretty good on these screen passes here. Another bulldoze, another five or six extra yards dragging dudes. I mean, it's just every play, whether they run a sweep stretch like that. Oh, that's good burst. Again, look at this patient. Boom. It, that's just that's football speed, man. I, I don't care what his 40 or cone drill is. And I'm sure once Ben Herbert gets a hold of him, we'll hear about how those times are moving up. But it that's just kind of been the knock has been some of those. He wouldn't test real well, but who cares? Again, look at the balance here. Just always moving forward, even does a spin move, right? Gets caught up here, legs taut, spin and forward. Just always, always churning forward. Does a real job. Okay, this is real good. Real good job of getting skinny here. You hear that all the time, right, with a running back. Being able to get between the tackle and the guard here. That might be my favorite run on here. I know it's not maybe the, the funnest highlight or whatever, but the patience here waits, lets that block hit, takes that step, and then again finishes through two defenders at the end. That's That's just good stuff, especially from a high schooler. Comes out of that cloud, runs over this guy. Again, 
I mean, his extra yards have got to be five plus on every one of these plays we've watched here. Here we go. Another mob of six guys unable to get him down. Crazy strong. And you still out too. If you, the picture that was going around from the recruiting weekend with Jaden Davis and Blake Frazier and Marshall and Ray Priest scoring the tight end, you could tell like Marshall's just a strong built guy. Oh, here we go. Hey, again, I keep hearing he's not that deep threat, but that's a, that's a nice pass, man, right in the bucket. But that's the one. I mean, if you're going to get sent on that play and it's thrown right there, you got to make that catch, right? And he's going to walk in for this one. What's O line doing work? I like this view a lot. We get an idea of, oh, wish I could have seen this defender come over, but that's a nice little move cutting back in. Again, another four or five extra yards towards the end of that play. He's out again here. Oh, wide open. Yeah, you don't got to flash any skills to score a touchdown on that one. All right, another little bit of a gap run. Nice patience. Falls forward a few extra yards. If that if that's the worst play he's going to do, right? All right, this is a big deal, right? We talk about Michigan in short yardage situation. Looks like they're on about, you know, the six-yard line, so it's going to be a crowded box here. Holds out of the ball, protects against the strip, and again, just drives his legs forward, finds the end zone. All right, getting out into the flat on this one. Really like his focus here. For a guy, again, we've, we've been talking about you know, the, the vision and then the chess match, always thinking about that next move. We see so often running backs, especially ones that maybe aren't used in the passing game super often are thinking about their next move, already looking upfield, assuming the catch. Marshall does a really good job here of getting into his spot. Show this one more time. Just head down, get to a spot, looks back in the flat, looks the ball in, makes the catch. And now he's driving upfield. That's textbook, man. Really impressive. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, man. This is great. So when there's not a seam there, make one, right? Runs over the middle linebacker here. Safety, maybe I apologize. And again, just as soon as there's grass, go, go. Look at his legs. Never stop. Moving. Get off me. Get off me. Awesome run. Awesome. All right, let's see what we do in the red zone here. Another play to the flat. Another play where he walks in. Again, but... Really like this. Look at his form on this one. Look at the defender, looks him off, gets to a spot, looks the ball in, makes the catch, then turns upfield. That that's just trusting your guys to make the play and not thinking you got to do anything extra. Takes a little pitch here. Just shedding dudes. Oh man. <laughs> like this move with his left arm here, right? Being difficult to tackle. Keep your arms moving, throw them down, always fighting, legs moving forward. The dude's a truck, man. Impressive. All right, another stretch play to the outside here. Oh, good footwork, staying inbound. It, it's little things like this, man. It's He's not going to score, right? But he's going to get every yard he can. He's already on the way out, and he does. Th this is just pure effort play. You got to love this. Does everything he can to get those few extra yards. He's not getting in the end zone. He knows he's not. But he knows he can get three more yards. Awesome. Nice little cut. <laughs> Unreal. What do we got here? I count this through. And patient cuts back upfield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drags him, gets another six or seven extra yards. Yeah, I mean, I, I, again, he really just shows everything the patience, strength, ball security that motor constantly pushing forward, patience, good acceleration, breaking tackles. Getting into the back end here, so obviously these are going to be a, maybe a little less. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice little hurdle move there. Short side of the field gets the first down. Like this play a lot. Everybody's moving over there with him. And again, he, he's got his eye on the marker. You can tell. Seam, boom, give me that first down. Just awesome effort. Another nice goal line run. Again, patience. Let the big boys up front do the work. Find a hole. Get skinny. Find your way to the end zone. 
They run them to the short side quite a bit in these highlights, I've noticed. Another patient run, breaking tackles, moving. Like this a lot, too. Again, if this if this is going to be his game in the passing, just, again, not looking back. He doesn't need to yet. Runs to his spot, perfect angle, gets back a little bit, looks back, catch, and now he's upfield. Not, not trying to do too much, not trying to get ahead of the play, just doing his job. Another stretch to the outside here. Michigan likes to do that a lot, obviously. They, they go outside their tackles. They find a lot of success there, so. Not too much from the camera angle there. Another pitch. Oh, that's great. He's got a blocker out in front. He knows he's safe by the defender here. If you watch, right, blocked by the offensive lineman and then the tight end. They're just patient, staying on the guy's back. And then once it's time to go, you watch right there. He's going to get as far as he can. Again, that acceleration, patiently waiting, and then boom, full acceleration, burst, trying to find the end zone. <laughs> Sorry. I always love this nice little push at the end and done. Been in the end zone for a second, but make sure you get on the ground. Again, just love the patience here. Look at no rush. Boom. Let me get my eight yards, get a second and two. Probably going to see. I mean, this. <sighs> This kind of reminds me of Donovan a little bit too early on, right? Talking about the patience on on this one, you know, he he's moving forward. I think I like it. He's doing the short steps, but you, you'll probably see maybe even a little bit more patience being taught into him early into the program, right? Another screen here. So yeah, based on what I had heard from, you know, talking to some of the initial scouting guys, I didn't expect to see as much passing as we've seen in here, but does a good job in those short little passes to the flat or on the screen. And even on the deep ones we've seen, I mean, that one was a perfect throw, but. Oh, that's the good stuff, man. Again, always moving up field legs, always churning incredible balance. Look at this right here. Two dudes on the ground gets through it. This is a good running back guys. This is really impressive. Complete. Real complete running back so early in his career here. You know, this is just junior film. Excited to see what he does next year. That's that acceleration, that burst. He's patient, but when he doesn't have to wait, he goes, man. Look at that. And that's a good mix, right? There's there's plenty of dudes that can hit that hole quickly and plenty of dudes that can be patient. But if you can get a running back that can do both, that's a real game changer for you. Again, look at this. Getting through the crowd. This isn't a great situation, right? Legs moving forward. Watch right here. Legs churning. Always going high knees. Push, push, push. Could have easily been a tackle for loss or a real, real short game. Get skinny. He is, well, I've seen different measurements. We've got him on our site at six foot. I've seen stuff as low as 5'10, but he does a good job of with his with his body staying low, helping with visibility. What happened there? Ref got hurt. Oh, yeah. We got blocked into the ref. Anyway, upside, dragging a whole crowd of people into the end zone. We've seen that plenty of times already. Oh, man, again, look how low he gets here. Trying to drive through the safety. Just watch his legs. Right about the 50-yard line, he makes this contact. Drive, drive, high knees. Again, that's just textbook. That's the kind of stuff they try to teach you early on. and doesn't stay with everybody, but he's got it, man. Another short side run, patient, gets skinny, breaks a tackle, 10 yards, just over and over again. Ooh, looked like he bent kind of funny on that one. Even when he's wrapped up, he's pushing, he's pulling. Even Yeah, again, just the, the kind of stuff, if you're, if you're a coach and you're talking about that motor, right? We hear that term all the time and just – the cliches that or what have become cliches and you know, give it all on every play, blah, blah, blah. It's little things when your play is done. Like we saw the one where he's falling out of bounds. He's not going to score a touchdown. He does everything possible to get the three extra yards, right? Watch on this one. He's going to the ground. There's just not much for him to do. And he is going to fall forward and reach and get every little bit. Look, he's done and boom, 
stay up and get those extra two yards. Coaches are going to love that because that stuff adds up, man. Another pass to the flat here. Not much he has to do on that one. <laughs> Another leg churner. I mean, again, this, the, the story's been told, right? We, we, we've seen it here. We've seen it with his ethic, work ethic. We've seen it with his leg move. Oh, this is great. This is great. His back gets turned at one point. Went a little too far, sorry. Look at this. Just boom. Turned around. <laughs> ran into his own guy. Never gives up on the play. Finds the end zone. Just impressive. Didn't have to bowl over the guy, but why not? You're a football player, right? Again, patience on this one. Watch the lead blocker. This is a Michigan play right here, boys. Got the pull. Over, well, not the pull, but you got the tight end coming over. Patient, wait for the lead block. Get your max yardage there. That's a play where if he breaks that other tackle, he's getting big yardage, right? Heavy set here. God, how does he score on this? This is crazy. <laughs> Runs right to the back of his lineman. Again, legs churning forward. Just max yardage on every play he gets here. Another bit of a little delay here. Bull through some dudes. We got a little bit left, so we'll keep playing, see if anything new pops in. But nope, that's it. All right. So look, nothing uh, nothing terribly shocking there, right? We've Anybody who's followed him knew what the scouting report was going to be. But, and again, we, we didn't get to see any of the bad plays. Those were all the good plays, right? But man, plenty of good there. Again, we're seeing, a, you, you like his body type already. You already like his size at six foot 200. He carries it really well. He's, he's strong. We saw how strong he is. Lower body, turning with his legs. Patient runner when the hole is there. Quick acceleration. Again, he's not a take the roof off the house kind of guy as far as top end speed. We'll see what happens again once he gets into the college program. I can't remember these guys only 16 or 17, right? So, but hey, if you're a Michigan fan, you are happy today. As Jordan Marshall said, Michigan is becoming RBU, right? If you've, if you've seen what Michigan's done the last couple of seasons and you're a running back, why don't you want to be a part of the Michigan offense, right? So that's going to do it for this episode of Cut Ups Film Review. Commit Jordan Marshall. Hope you enjoyed it. We have all of our coverage on Marshall, recruiting, commits, everything right now over at michigan.rivals.com. If you're not a member already, make sure you subscribe so you can get access to Intel as well as our Michigan message board community, The Den. Otherwise, until next time, I'm Trevor McHugh. This has been Cut Ups, brought to you by Maze and Blue Review.